He refused to come. What? Did you not tell him that his I did. daughter is outside? I told him, just leave him first. I want to come and see that husband of yours that had the F entry to throw you out. Follow me. Open this door! Mark! You will go out there, Mark. She is your mother-in-law. She is calling you. You don't need to disrespect her. But when you go out there, tell her that I, your mother, said she has no right with her daughter to come into my house. Ha <laughs> Mark! <laughs> you dare mess with the Akogo family! Thank you. She should take her daughter back home. Do you hear me? Mark, come out! Come out! Open this door! Let me show you what stuff I'm made of! How dare you throw my daughter out of her own house? Not until we sit down and have a conversation over this matter. Otherwise, she should leave my compound with her nasty daughter. Mama, how, how am I supposed to go outside and, and tell them this thing? That because you're a man. Oh. So you have to stand up and act like a man. Uh -uh. Go out there and tell your wife to go back home. Good. Okay? Then we'll come and see her people and have this conversation. For now, let her go home. Sorry, uh, Vivian. You, you people have to leave now. What? Mm -hmm. Leave? You had him because your husband said so. You had him. Please let's not let's not drag this issue. Please go home with your mother. I am disappointed in you, Mark. I am disappointed in you. Mm. You can't stand by your wife against your mother. <laughs> I am very disappointed in you. Mm. Mm. Thank you, thank you very much, ma, for being disappointed in me. I appreciate. Please, <laughs> you come and go home. Come on, be going out! Go home, you disrespect me! Out, 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 out! Shame on you! Shame on all of you! Come on! Out, 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 out! You fat grief ledge! Go home! Go! This is how you're supposed to be! Mom, that you lies! I don't know! You have not shown me that you are my true son! Rubbish. I warned you, didn't I? But you chose to bring shame to my family. You raised your hands against your husband? Vivian, you will surely pay for this. What is there to pay for? He was being silly and she only corrected. You are very stupid yourself. Stella, you are stupid. Have I ever raised my hands against you with all the stupid behavior you continue to display in this house? Even if she wants to correct her husband, there are better ways to do so. 
if you think that hitting someone is a way to correct them, then you would not have survived the wounds you would have received from the beating I would have given you from the day I married you. Chief, what are you saying? Who is she to raise her hands against her husband? Did you listen to what she said? She stabbed her family? Who does that? She is a wife and a daughter-in-law. Her responsibility is to put the home together and not to tear it apart. You raised your hands against your husband. You will surely face the consequences. Consequences? What consequences, Dad? He made me look like a fool. He didn't make you look like a fool. He only put a mirror before you so he could see who you really are. And you raised your hands against your husband? Like, who taught you that? Where did you learn that from? If a man raises his hands against a woman, everyone starts to talk, and then it is tagged domestic violence. Do you know that domestic violence goes both ways? And because you hate that man, you have given him more trouble than anyone can give him in one month. Emotionally, you have ruined him. Financially, you are violent. And now, you have become physically violent. And you think your marriage is going to work? You are married to a man and not a child. I have and let him start to act like a man. As we continue in this conversation, I do not want to hear your voice anymore, Stella. Keep your stupid thoughts and rules to yourself. Because you have planted a bad seed into your daughter's head. And you continue to water and nurture it. And now, it has germinated into a destructive element in her life. And if you think I will go and apologize to our in-laws, then you lie. Hmm? Whenever they call to discuss your matter, I shall be there. Because I have some suggestions for them. Suggestions on, on how they should punish me? If your in-laws fail to punish you, I, your father, will punish you. Because whether they say it or not, at the back of their mind, they will think that I did not train you well. But I did my best. It's rather unfortunate that you are cursed with a mother like this. Uh, Chief, don't insult me like this now. I don't like it all. Huh. I thought now those are being disrespectful. Vivian, you see this your mother that is vehemently trying to destroy your home. I ask you. Step back and just look at her marriage and her life. Is she doing all of these things she's encouraging you to do in her marriage? No! She didn't succeed because I won't let that happen. Now, because she failed with all her shenanigans in my home, she's now trying to use you to achieve that in your marriage. And you're allowing her to lead you on. If you have ears, here. If you do not have ears, that is your business. But raising your hands against your husband is a crime, and you must be punished for it. It has to do with Vivian, right? Yes, Mama. Mama, I, I know you have every right to punish her. I know the things she has done and she has caused, and I know it's painful, and you have every right to do what you want to do. But please, Mama, I want to beg you. Don't tell the elders about it, please. Because if, if you do, this matter will go overboard, and it's going to be difficult for me to reconcile with my wife. And even if we reconcile, it's going to be difficult to live together after that. Please, Mama. My son, I can actually do that. 
but I need to involve the elders. I need them to come and see what is what you are passing through and how your marriage is going. I am a woman. Nobody knows tomorrow. If anything should happen tomorrow, people will call me out to tell me why have I not involved the elders earlier. I am answerable to them. So I must involve them so that they will know what you are passing through and step into it. Mama, I, I understand, but if you involve them, it's going to ruin a lot of things. See, Mama, let's just do it like this. Just let's settle these things among ourselves. Let's handle it our, our own way. Because if you involve them, things are going to get out of hand. Mama, please, I beg you. I beg you, after this one, if she misbehaves again, then you can do, you can tell the elders, even tell the whole village, I don't care. But please, Mama, don't tell them. I love Vivian, your wife. I tried to maintain her image in the past. But I want you to understand that what I am doing is for her own good. I want her to know that every action that she is taking has a reaction. And every action drags Consequences. If she understands that every of her actions drags consequences for her, she will immediately stop all these things that she is doing. My son, do not allow this marriage to ruin you. I will prefer you to remain single, sane, and be yourself than for you to lose yourself com completely just in the name of marriage. Mama, I know I've been a fool. I know I have pushed you to the wall. I know I've done things that are annoying and unbearable. But Mama, it's, it's me. It's me, your little boy, your little Mac. The boy you picked up from the street and you turned him into a man. Mama, please, I want to ask you for one thing. My son, you know how much I love you. I know you did not come out from this womb, but I love you like my other children. Tell me, what is it? Mama, in the course of this marriage, no matter what happens, no matter what goes wrong or right, please, Mama, don't leave me. Mama, don't leave me. I will be lost without you. I love you, my son. No sane mother will ever leave her son no matter what. I will never leave you. I love you too, Mama. <laughs> <laughs>